peaches have been boiling for about half an hour, so we're gonna take them and put them in the strainer over here and get the juice out of them that's formed. Careful, it's hot. Get all the remaining juices out of it. Which you can. Okay, so we've boiled the peach skins in the pits and we got all the juice out of it. We've got a lot of juice. Uh, so now we've got our frozen strawberries, strawberries from the Tennessee Strawberry Festival. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna puree them up. And then we're gonna add our pectin in it and then boil that up and then can it up and it, it should turn into jelly or jam excuse me strawberry mixture, strawberry peach jelly mixture through the filter one more time just in case I missed anything. Get all the str small strawberry seeds out of it too. So it takes a little time but work it through and it'll get clean. Okay so we blended up our strawberries and our peach juice. You can add, you don't have to add pectin. My strawberries have a lot of pectin in them and that usually can gel up in the fridge but I'm gonna do it just in case and I got some two jars of Put two packs of uh, liquid pectin here, and I'm going to dump them both in because I have a lot of liquid here. We're going to dump it in and let it boil for a minute. Okay, when you're making fruit jelly, uh, you want to add a little butter to it because it keeps the foam down when it's to a rolling boil. Uh, it's usually half a tablespoon for a recipe, but I don't kind of swag in here, so we're just going to add a couple of chili and hope for the best. Alright, instead of ladling all this in each individual jar, I'm going to pour it into my big measuring cup here and then it makes it easier to pour out. Okay, so uh, when you fill in your jars, you want to leave about a quarter inch left at the rim for air to escape while you're doing a water bath. Keeps your jaws from exploding. That's a good thing. Okay, second attempt at making jelly again. Emptied out all my jars and recleaned them and put them back in the pot. So we'll bring this back to a boil and add more pectin. And hopefully it sets up this time. Because I don't want to do this for a third time. Okay, so second trial on the jelly set. This is the last of my pectin. I got two dry, two dry packs and a liquid pack. I'm just gonna dump it all in there because I want stuff to set up. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, update on the jelly. Second go around, still liquid, so it's a fail. Now I have peach strawberry syrup, so oh well, try better next time. And the jelly saga continues because I'm stubborn and got some more pectin. I'm gonna give us another go. I mean, I've got 34 jars of syrup. I mean, Lord of mercy, you can only make so many pancakes and waffles, right?